So let's write down the next one. And that's going to be the end of uh, today's lesson, uh, by the way. Um, you can see that I didn't, I wasn't recording what I was just saying. So that's, but we'll get the other two on there. Hopefully that'll make sense. So go ahead and write this down in case you didn't hear that. Gavin, are you here? I haven't. No, I don't see him. All right. So let's. Uh... Try to do these ones before the bell goes. So domain and range. And you have set and interval. Okay. So in this case, we need to use the squiggly brackets for set. And we domain focuses on the X. So you travel along, there's nothing. You start. When you hit the y-axis, so at x equals to 0, it's, that's when it starts. So x will be greater than or equal to, oh, and it never ends. So I, you don't want that then. Um, all, you, all you need to say is that x is greater than or equal to 0, which we're technically saying here. But textbooks always put the x in front. So I will do this or x is greater than or equal to zero. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this. Technically, it isn't wrong. But if, it's, if it doesn't have an end, then you just write it like that, OK? So here, the interval notation will be 0 to infinity. 0 included, infinity is not. For range, how would you do range, right? Well, you're coming from the bottom, it's always there, right? Like, as you're coming from the bottom, it's already there because of the arrows. And you stop at 3. So y is always going to be less than or equal to 3, positive. That's it. Okay. And so the interval notation, smallest always comes first right so you have a negative infinity right this goes to a negative infinity here for the y cannot include that and it goes up to three included so the square bracket goes there okay so that's how you do that we'll do another one here So set, interval, and so in this case, um, my both I have a point on both ends, so it's it's 
boxed in basically it has a beginning and an end so we would go negative 3 for x and it stops at positive 2 so if you just look at the x values you come along the x you go from negative 3 to positive 2 and so it'd be negative three to two square brackets on both ends. And then for my y, you travel along the y-axis, you start seeing it at negative five. So it'd be negative five, and it stops at positive three, right? So you get there, so it's negative five to three. Smallest always first, okay? especially when you do the interval notation so that's that all right we're gonna conclude it there no homework yet uh you had a little bit yesterday so what we're gonna do is tomorrow uh the group that is in tomorrow is the last one that i need to see and so by then all of you should have had a graphing calculator you should have a graphing calculator on hand textbooks so I'm going to start teaching you how to use that calculator. So make sure tomorrow you have it ready and, uh, and we'll continue from there. Okay, then we're officially going to dive into our first unit, which is quadratic equation. Okay, so thank you for joining us. Uh, we will, I will see you all, uh, I guess some of you tomorrow here physically, but all of you online, whoever isn't supposed to be. Uh, here. All right. So thank you for joining us. Sorry, you had a question? Okay. See ya. Yeah. This was a while for you then, right? If it's, if, if you had it first semester or last year.